So a little birdie told me that you think your walls look dull and that you want to make a two lead stencil to spice it up a little bit. Well, let's go on with it then. So the first thing you're going to do is want to make a sketch. And with the sketch I'm going to blow it up using this little projector. Obviously you can just draw it out bigger if you want, but I ain't got time for that. So now we're going to draw the projected sketch using just a pencil onto a, well it's more thick card than paper. It's card but paper, paper but card, I don't know. You'll find it in most craft stores, I think, I'm pretty sure. And now we're finished drawing it, we can cut the first bit of the stencil out, which is all these black bits. You can kind of tell which bits you've got to cut out, but a lot of people ask me, which bits do you cut out? It's the black bits. So I'm cutting out this first layer using a, it's more of a surgical scalpel with a 10A blade. It's uh, the best thing i found for cutting stencils, so if you want to get into stencils you should invest in one of these. So when I'm cutting my stencils out I always try to not do straight lines and always do wiggly lines because in the end when you end up spraying it, it always just seems to sit better on the canvas when they're not straight lines. Straight lines make it look a bit more um, amateuristic. So you're probably wondering, how do I make the second layer? Well, you have to, 100% you have to make this top black layer before you make any other layers. So just chill out a bit, make this one first. So the stencil making part of this is quite a long process. So with a little bit of sexy editing, we're gonna just skip to the good bit. But if you're making it, don't you can't skip anything. You've got to do it as slow as me. It took two hours. All right, so now that's done. We've got one more little thing to cut out, which is very important. So these are called keys. Um, I always go with a little triangle shape because, I don't know, it's just easier. So we're going to draw out four keys. You can obviously do as many keys as you want, but you draw them out and then you cut them out and then that's how you line up each layer. So you can go up to 100 layers if you want, but I won't do that because I just wouldn't. Now, once you have your keys cut out, you can take it outside to spray. Obviously, this was going to be a little light spray because this is going to be how you make your second layer. Um, using the same thickness of card is always best because it's just easy to work with. And then you just give it a quick spray and then you have the image. And then we can make the second layer. And remember to spray the keys because I don't know why, but sometimes I forget. So once that's all done and dry, we can go back inside and we can mark all the bits that we want to cut out for the second layer. So unlike the first one, which is all the black bits, now you want to cut out all the white bits. I always find it's best to draw it out with a pencil so when you come to cutting it you don't get confused. In the middle of this layer I've done some bridges just to help with the overall strength of the canvas and keeping bits, parts together in the right place. And then once you've drawn all that, like the first one, you can cut it all out but unlike the first one it doesn't take ages because there's not that much detail so it should only take you five or ten minutes but obviously still be careful don't want to cut fingers then once that's done we can cut out the keys again so we can line them all up So I've gone ahead and prepped up this little canvas in this blue, um, I think this is a wood canvas but obviously you can use anything. I know I said at the start of the video that I'm painting on walls but I don't want to. 
but anyway, um, so I've taken my top layer, which is the black detailed layer, to just size it up, and then we're gonna put masking tape under the keys so we can spray on them and not on the canvas because obviously the tape can come off. Got it, it's clever, isn't it? So now we've got the placement right, we can take the other layer, line it up with the keys and quickly mask it on if you need to, but you can just place it on there and hold it on, but I'd mask a little bit for you. And once that's done, I'm going to paint this layer with a nice bone white. Once you feel like you've got a good enough covering, you can take that off. And then with these bridges, I'm just going to freehand spray them over. Spray on them. Spray them over? Spray on them? Same thing, I don't know. And then once that's done and dry, we can put on the top detailed black layer. Remembering to line it up with the keys properly. And after that aggressive shaking, we are ready to paint the top black layer. kind of hard to explain how to paint a stencil but you kind of just have to you kind of just have to go for it but don't overdo it it's hard to explain you just you just got to try trial and error you just got to kind of remember that less is more if you overdo it then you're just gonna ruin the whole piece for a little bit of paint So now that's done, we are kind of finished, but we're not finished. Obviously, you've got to take off the bits of masking tape key. And if you can see on the stencil that there's two bridges that we need to get rid of. So let's get rid of them. We're going to get rid of them by just uh, wait for the black paint to dry. And then we can mask around it and use the masking tape as like a kind of little stencil to get rid of the bridge. And then when that's all done, we can take it all off. And that is it. You're ready to go and paint your grandma's bathroom. And I think she'll be really happy with it. Mm -hmm.